Jason Roy hit 110 as Surrey had an excellent first day against Middlesex in the London derby. Top of the table Middlesex hosted 7th place Surrey looking to exact some measure of revenge for Tuesday night's Royal London One Day Cup match in which Surrey claimed a quarter final spot against their cross city rivals. Surrey won the toss here and elected to bat but Middlesex made a bright start with Murtagh tracking Sibley leg before in just the second over. Rory Burns looked to steady the ship with some early boundaries, but he was to lose partner Ansari with the score on 23, Middlesex making early inroads. However, that brought Aaron Finch to the crease, and in typical style, the Australians started plundering boundaries at will. Burns continued his push towards a half century, and Finch looked to be doing the same until he was caught on the crease by Franklin for 37. Jason Roy joined Burns at the crease and the pair built a steady partnership up to the lunch break with Burns passing 50 in the process. After the interval, the pair picked up where they left off with Roy moving past the 50 landmark. The partnership was to end with the score on 188 Burns caught at deep point for 88, the batsman clearly feeling as though a big hundred had gone begging. Roy pressed on though and looked in complete control alongside new partner Davis who was also appearing to be in good touch. Roy scampered through for a single to complete a chanceless hundred, his seventh in first class cricket and a timely reminder of his ability in the long form of the game. The match was looking to be getting away from Middlesex, but when Davis was trapped LBW by Rayner for 38, and then Roy followed shortly after for 110, the host looked to have suddenly clawed their way back into it. Ben Folkes put on 32 for the seventh wicket with Sam Curran, until Sam Curran was bowled by Franklin for 20. That brought Tom Curran together with Folkes. Folks, coming off the back of a match-winning 45 on the same ground two days earlier, again looked in fine touch. Tom Curran fell late in the day to Harris, leg before for 26, but there was just enough time for Folks to pass 50 before play was called for the day. Surrey then finished on 384 for 8, thanks mostly to a fine century from Jason Roy and solid knocks from Burns and Folks, who will resume tomorrow on 53 not out.